Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Now, Jamaica has spent its highest on imports since about 2008. The Statistical Institute of Jamaica Statin says for January to November last year, it cost 7.1 billion U.S. dollars to bring in goods, reflecting a 32% increase in the cost for imports compared to 2021. Now, for the full year in 2021, imports cost $5.9 billion. This increase was largely driven by higher costs for imported raw materials and inter intermediate goods, as well as fuel and lubricants and consumer goods. Meanwhile, more money was earned from exports, in fact, the most money since 2018. Statin says 1.6 billion U.S. dollars was earned from goods being sent overseas. The 24% increase in earnings was primarily as a result of a 103% increase in the value of exports in mineral fuels. The export and import performance brought Jamaica's trade deficit to 5.4 billion U.S. dollars, which is above the January to November 2021 deficit of just over 4 billion U.S. dollars. Local oil refinery Petrojam is seeking a new general manager, or rather managing director. The company has advertised the post on its website. Now, the business day understands that the current general manager, or managing director rather, Winston Watson, is set to retire. It's not clear when he will demit office. Now, Mr. Watson was first appointed managing director at the state-owned oil refinery in 2000. He was later appointed general manager in 2007 before being seconded to the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica. Now, in 2018, he returned as head of Petrojam. And some more companies related news businessman and chief and current chief executive officer of the ICD group Mr. Peter Meledo has been appointed to fill an existing vacancy on the Radio Jamaica board of course Radio Jamaica is the parent company of the RJ Aglina Communications group and of course Television Jamaica Mr. Meledo who is also chairman of Sagico group and Red Stripe has previously held positions in UK based construction company Care International and the manufacturers group in Jamaica now Radio Jamaica the Radio Jamaica board at its meeting today also thanked urban planner and academic professor Carol Archer of the University of Technology who after six and a half years on the board and 21 years on the board of the Glena Company Media Limited has resigned her directorship effective April 30. To the foreign exchange market now, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $151.57. $112.92 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The going rate for the pound is $189.02, while it's costing an average $167.42 for the euro. Meanwhile, the JSE index gained 8,348 points today, while the junior market index increased by 24 points. Among today's winners were ISP Finance Services, T-Tech, Cygnus Real Estate Financial, Iron Rock Insurance and Productive Business Solutions, PBS 9.5% U.S. dollar shares. While on the losing side were Jamaica Public Service, JPS 7% shares, Productive Business Solutions 9.75% shares, Lasco Distributors, Key Insurance and Nutsford Express Services. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.